when I was experiencing um, a crisis and looking for care, I was brought involuntarily to a clinic. After hours of um, seeing different clinicians, different healthcare providers, I was interviewed finally by um, this one healthcare provider and they asked me, how could someone like you be depressed? That in itself brought my entire treatment to a stop because all I wanted to do was crawl back into my shell, not tell anything else and honestly leave. I feel like the reason why the HCP or the healthcare provider may have made that comment may have been because of the things that I shared with them. Um, I shared with them that I was a PharmD student. I was fairly um, middle class. I may have arrived in a car, you know, things like that. So I can imagine the things that are, could maybe going through that person's head is this person has a roof over their head. They're not struggling for food. They have two parents and a sister. You know, what is there to be depressed about? Well, on the contrary, or on the other hand, they didn't ask, you know, what are the other experiences that may have happened in, in childhood that may be contributing to such a complex thing like depression? None of those questions were really asked. It was just an instant kind of judgment. Going forward with other healthcare providers, I was a bit guarded. I felt like I needed to present myself in a certain way. It's hard to explain. I almost felt like if I knew this was going to be a, an appointment where I was going to share that I was um, not doing well or depressed, I needed to kind of look the part. It is, it's hard to think that you need to be such a monotonous or homogenous person in front of someone that you're seeking care from. My advice for someone that experience what I did with a healthcare provider is stand up for yourself if you can, find that voice. And I think my advice to a healthcare provider is just see this person with the utmost curiosity and care because as a fellow pharmacist, as a fellow healthcare provider, we we owe that to society, we owe that to that person, and that we are just here to understand what brought them here today and to really listen with our hearts open.